Hello everyone. Um so as we know, I made this livid dagger. How long? It's been like a year now. And so I decided I needed an upgrade. Right? So the next one, in my opinion, was clearly Shadow Fury, but yeah, I've done this. Most of them, almost all of them actually, being S plus runs. With kids with feathers and none to show. So yeah, I won't have a clip of me dropping it, sadly. But I'm still going to upgrade one. So let's go. Um, I have 23 million. That's enough, right? To buy one. I think I pulled it up earlier. Wow. It feels... Strange having one. I mean, it probably would have been cooler if I grinded it out, but let's go to the my favorite spot to test damage, the castle. Two hundred thirty thousand. That's that's pretty good. Now let's backstab. Four hundred sixty thousand. That is strange. 300,000. So yeah, I would say 230,000 is good. Shadow Fury by itself is doing what? 120,000? Almost? 116,000. This ability is very interesting. So I'm going to test out the ability right here. I think four seconds. So wow, that is fun. I like that. So yeah, if you just get into a crowd of let's go right here. Damn. So, I'm gonna go to my private island. I have some things stocked. Mo I have a few things that aren't ready yet. I'll get into that later, but that's it for now. Alright guys, so, we did the rock comparison. So far, or livid, it clearly outshines it, but we'll see about that. So, I have a, <laughs> a few items. We'll be adding a few of these. Not everything yet. I don't want to spoil it at all. But we'll be adding our potato books. Probably in this enchant book right now. So, yeah. Like I said, I don't have everything yet as I'm poor, but this enchant book, I did my best getting the best stuff. So it has Soul Leader 5. I know there's a new enchant. I forgot what it's called. Like. Something Tempo, I, re I remember. And it gives, like, ferocity, but. Oh well. I guess I can deal with Soul Leader for now. I have a Titanic and my potato books, so. Let's go to the hub and add those real quick. So, let's use. Do I even need to use the Titanic? I feel like I have enough. But, might as well. Wow. And let's... Okay, it's looking better. With the 5 ferocity. My livid dagger does not have that. Okay, now for the fumings. Okay, that's all I'll be doing for right now. I'll probably be back when I have everything, but let's go test it just with the enchants and potato books on it. No reforge or other special stuff I'll get to. 200... 300k? 230k, I'm seeing. Wow. 
Okay, I like that. 230k? It's not even reforged or anything. I'm pretty sure that's already more than livid. Two thirty K. Wow, it does more than live it already. That's actually really good. It's this is five star and everything. Alright. So I'll probably be back, I don't know, a day. Well, probably a few seconds for you guys, but see ya. Alright, boys. Next thing in line, I'm gonna star it. That's the thing, I, I forgot about it. But, so, warp. Dungeon hub. Yeah, we have enough essence, right? And we'll see how good it is in dungeons. No, not salvage. Definitely not salvage. 50 Wither Essence, to give it an extra boost in dungeon. 400 Essence. There we go, 5 stars. So unfortunately, I won't be adding Master Stars to it, because I am poor. Let's go. But yeah, what's its gear score? Oh jeez. Love its gear scores. Way better. To be honest, though, we haven't hypermaxed this thing yet. So, anyways, I'll be back officially now. Later. Hey guys. So, it's a few days later. Actually, only two. But I can finally show you everything else I have planned. So these are all new. I'm gonna apply everything today. So. I'll I'll show you what we got. Livid Fragments, Recombobulator, Fabled, Book of Stats, I don't know, Art of War, Jasper Power Scroll, Stuff to Unlock, Gemstone Slots, and Two Perfect Jasper. These only took like two days to get, so... I think I'm gonna start with the Reforge. So I have a Reforge handle right here. A million coins for Fabled. And then we'll recombobulate it. Nice. So next up is the Livid Fragments. Okay. Put this in here. Okay, so we can put Jaspers in both. And let's just combine the anvils. Okay, part of war. And then finally, a book of stats for the kill count. So that is our maxed Shadow Fury. It makes our Livid Dagger look like a child's toy. It only has Soul Eater 4 and ew, fine Jaspers. It doesn't even have an Art of War on it. Alright. So let's go test these side by side. And of course, the hub castle. What pet do I have? I leveled up my pet to level 100. Pet candy? Not pet candy. So, maxed Shadow Fury versus maxed Livid Dagger. Let's start with the Livid Dagger. What was that? 220k? 230k. 460k. So yeah, I'll call it 
230,000. So now for the Shadow Fury. 300,000? 300. Really? That is quite a bit better. That is way better, actually. Wow. 300,000 damage. And I guess we can teleport and use our passive for the extra strength. 320,000. Okay, yeah. Living Dagger has backstab and attack speed, but this thing does, in general, way more damage. It fluctuates because of Fabled, but almost 400,000. Wow. So yeah, Shadow Fury is pretty crazy. It's ability included. Oh, yeah. I like it. This is definitely a quite a bit of a step up. It looks cooler. So, that's it. And see you guys next time.